Washington, the sixth round pick, the rookie out of Penn State. Right knee injury that has limited him to just one game this season. Stonehouse, boy, how good has he been this season? As that one is touched down, looks like they do keep it out of the end zone. And now the flag. Was it touched by a player who came back onto the field from the end zone? 39 yard punt. And maybe a, some contact off the foot. of Anthony Kendall and that little kick arch I believe is what the officials are talking about here keep your eye on number 40 that's Kendall <laughs> that's one you don't see very often no. 39 yard punt if it sticks at the one yard line Potentially an illegal touch. Maybe we should pipe Gene Steratore into to Brad Rogers' headset, maybe to, to give some assistance. I <laughs> am not exactly sure what is going on, Spiro. I'm going to predict the legal touching, Arch. Yeah. As uh, Anthony Kendall on pins and needles awaiting this call here from Brad Rogers. A lot of nuance to this call. Apparently so. <laughs> Another look at the replay. So the question is, is Kendall, is he is he touching the white line? Is his hand on the white line when he touches the football? Could probably, you know, they might be discussing that. Uh, was yeah, then, that? then is his body reestablished when he takes his hand off the line? Yeah. All kinds of things that they're discussing yeah. here. Uh, there is a possibility his left hand is on the line when his foot touches the football. All right. The conversation will continue. Just under nine left before halftime. Seven nothing Jacksonville on CBS. Mel Plus. Use promo code BASS to get one month free. All right, so we finally got the explanation from Brad Rogers. It is an illegal kick against Anthony Kendall. You see, his his right hand is on the line, but then he gets it off, so it's not a touchback. If if he touches the ball. While his hand is on the line, then it would be a touchback. But because his hand comes off, then they enforce the illegal kick, as I understand it. So they enforce the penalty from the one-yard line. They begin just outside the 10. They get it to ETN. Gene, we desperately needed you there. You gave us a fantastic explanation during the timeout. Explain for the audience what that was all about. I am impressed with Adam's explanation, though. He's, actually, he's, he's exactly right. When Kendall touches, he's touching the goal line with his left hand. When he lifts back up, he has yet to touch the football. As soon as both hands come off of the ball, he's both feet down in bounds. That means he is reestablished in the field of play, and he does kick a loose ball then in the field of play on a scrimmage play. Not a loss of down 10 yards from the spot, as Brad Rogers said. First and 10 from the 11. All right, Gene, thank you very much. So Jacksonville goes to the Wildcat here, and it's a first down pickup for Travis Etienne, a run of eight. That was like a Rubik's Cube of NFL officiating.